Hi Cloud people, this video is for everyone who wants to come into cloud security and doesn't know where to start. So in this video, I'll guide you step by step on how to begin your journey in cloud security. So from first stage, even if you are a beginner and non IT person, the first stage will always be covering the computer and OS fundamentals. So this uh, keeping the video short, I'll completely cover the topics and will tell you what to do next. So first on the first step, you will have to cover computer and OS fundamentals, then move to networking, learn a little bit about networking and server essentials, like what are servers, how to set up a server and all. You can refer CompTIA network plus examinations. If you want, you can get the certificate as well. It's a well renowned famous certificate. Then you must know what is programming, what is version control. Version control is basically get GitHub things and programming. Uh, please, please, please do learn a single programming language at least and know how to code a little bit uh, that will help you in the other things uh, when you'll move forward in the journey. Web essentials and databases, of course, you should know how the web works, what is databases, how, how the query works, what are SQL, no SQL bases. So you should know all these things to cover up the first stage. This is not at all a security or cloud thing. The first stage is just for your fundamentals, for your base to build up a proper potential in yourself so you can get more hands on things that you'll cover next. So the second stage will cover more of a upper fundamental thing I would say. So you have to learn about what is Linux OS. You have to understand the administrative, what is the administrative things that you can uh, do in the Linux. So refer CompTIA Linux plus certificate for that. You can do professor Messer's list or you have many free courses on available on YouTube. If you want, I can share in other videos so you can go definitely check out Linux plus certification for it. Learn the Linux OS a little work on it. Use command line, know how to make folders and all like do basic stuff on the command line. At least now the thing is we have covered all the essential things. We have covered all the fundamentals that you require and need to get into cloud and cloud security. Now we'll more focus on cloud for a bit. So the thing is now you have to learn about cloud computing. So for getting into security, first you know what it is. So even uh, what if you don't know about cloud and you want to get into cloud security, it is not possible, right? So you first have to learn what is cloud computing. So go for AWS, Azure, GCP, Google cloud provider. So learn about their basics like AWS cloud practitioner, Azure one, uh, 900, that is fundamentals, GCP is basic certificate. Get your hands onto that certificates. Don't necessarily get the certificate or give the exam and uh, spend your money, but just learn the fundamentals from there. Comte cloud plus is also a great example for a certificate, which will cover all the, all the three of the certificate, uh, all the three of the cloud service providers. So you can do that. Definitely do check out Comte cloud plus now learn DevOps fundamentals as well. Learn what is DevOps. Get the basic understanding of these topics. Like I'm not asking you to get deep into it and spend months and months and years to learn about these things. These are just fundamentals that you should know a basic thing. Now the major part as it is also highlighted here, please, please, please at this stage, start building cloud projects. You, I'm not asking you to build security. I'm not asking you to do anything else. Just build a proper common use cloud projects to get your hands on experience. The AWS Azure cloud, uh, Google Cloud all provides you free access to their resources at certain level. Use them, utilize them, make your good projects, update your portfolio. You'll get more hands on experience and it will be a great, great thing for when you'll be in the security field. Now the third stage and the security stage, I would say at this point, you are done with the fundamentals, the essentials that you want, the cloud basic knowledge, cloud fundamentals, etc. Now you need to focus on security thing now. So CompTIA Security Plus, the main thing, and I would really recommend you to get CompTIA Security Plus certified as well, because when you go and see the job market, you'll see the most demanding certificate. One of the most demanding certificate is CompTIA Security Plus. So do, do the CompTIA Security Plus exams, uh, like the courses, if you want, uh, if you want to do the certificates, it's one of the great certificates that is available right now that is demanded right now. So you can also get the certified uh, certified in this as well. Now you have learned about cloud separately. You have learned about security separately. You have to combine them and learn them how they work together. So cloud security essentials, learn how security is connected with cloud. Know what security things are 
but in the cloud that you have to do and learn and practice so ccsk cloud skill knowledge security knowledge certificate it's a great certificate if you want to do the course you can do it it's a paid course obviously all the courses are paid because they are very well renowned and demanded courses now the second most important thing about your journey at this point you are done with everything mostly that you have to learn it's all about your practical knowledge and your specialization now you are done with the fundamentals and intermediate level now start building cloud security projects start building iam policy start building tools that can help in cloud security start building the cloud security projects and update your pro portfolio which i can bet you even if you are not certified but you have these projects like some of the great projects in your portfolio you will definitely get a good job by that so we have covered all the three stages now there comes the final stage so at this point i have told you that you have to learn about aws azure and gcp of course because these all are cloud service providers you can't just choose one at the beginning and like ignore others only so at this point you have to choose a single cloud service provider that will be your specialization choose either aws gcp azure and even if you want any other if there is available and you want it so go to that specialized get yourself specialized in that in security field and move forward now it's your time to choose your cloud role because as you already know security is not a small field it requires you a lot of uh, it requires a lot of domain in them so offensive secure cloud security is there difr cloud is there security engineer you can be security architecture architect you can be cloud monitoring and detection engineer you can be cloud grc and management devsec devsecops engineer so there are so many things so select what you want to be and work on that work according to that now there are there comes the final thing that advanced professional certificate when you'll be done with all these things when you'll be done with hands on practices and you'll think that now you are job ready now you want to get your hands on some professional certificates go for iscs cloud security professional cloud security engineer go for sans courses and it is literally the last point when you will be done with all the things so here is the short roadmap and but it is i covered everything in this so like you don't have to go outside of this to learn or to know anything i can guarantee you this that all the things that are covered in this are more than enough for you to get into cloud security and be a good professional be a very well equipped with hands on practices professional so thank you guys if you like the cloud security video please do like share and subscribe also i'll be sharing the aws certificate cloud security certification path azure and as well as gcp so tune in for that also and thank you